Hey guys, it's me Arlene, Delicious Delights, and welcome to my channel. Today's review is going to be one of the newest releases from the Zara Rain slash Zara Emotions collection. This one I unboxed not too long ago and I've been wearing it since then. This one is called Citrus Meze or Maze. I don't know how to say that. M-E-Z-E. -E. So yes, this is from the new Zara Rain collection. They released four new fragrances. I haven't tried the other ones, but I really do want to try those. Uh, but I blind bought this one. It's number three of the collection. I have the box here. It looks pretty much the same as the Zara Emotions boxes. And then the cost is 25.95 euros. And this one, I believe, is a 90 mil. Um, yes, 90 mil. So it also comes with a little card inside with a little a write up, a quote here. So the beauty of raindrops never fails to delight me, bringing new life and a new beginning. So a lot of their fragrances has like a write up um, that corresponds to the collection or the fragrance. Anyway, so I have been wearing this for the past little while since I got it. And oh, I'll read out the notes as well. Top notes are bergamot and grapefruit. Middle notes are neroli and orange blossom. And then the base notes are musk and Akigala wood. So when I did my first impressions of this, I pretty much said, by the way, I'll link that down in the description box. I said that it smells very much like ripe limes, lime juice, very citrusy, very bright zesty, clean, and yeah, that bergamot in here, bergamot slash lime, because those two notes kind of smell similar to me. Um, the bergamot is the most dominant note in here, and it's a really nice, refreshing, uplifting citrus scent. So as this fragrance dries down, well, the bergamot still is the dominant note in here but you also get a little bit of florals in the background like the neroli the orange blossom yes those are the two notes um, they are in the background though and they kind of just make it feel like it's a clean kind of citrus um, out of the two floral notes i think neroli is more prominent um, but it never really takes over from the uh uh, the lime slash bergamot in here. So base notes are musk and akigala wood. I don't really get a woodiness in here at all. A little, I do get a little bit of the musk, but this fragrance doesn't really change a whole lot. Um, it's mostly just a simple, to me, smelling like a mostly uh, single note of bergamot and then just some floral touches in the mid here. Um, do I like this? I will say, yes, I do like it if you're looking just for a straight up lime uh, and musk scent and a little bit of florals, but mostly lime and bergamot, then you should give this a try. As for longevity and projection, um, well, <laughs> it's an EDP concentration. However, this one does not last at all. <laughs> I haven't really timed it, but maybe an hour to two hours, and it's a very light scent. So if you're looking for a citrus scent that's going to last you for the entire day, which is pretty rare when it comes to citrus scents, then you would probably want to skip this. But if you like reapplying, then you can give it a try. It's a very inoffensive, easygoing, simple citrus of basically just lime juice for the most part, <laughs> which I like. So I don't mind that this doesn't last very long. You know, I kind of um, expect it when it comes to citrus scents and a lot of the Zara scents, um, not all, but a lot of Zara scents don't really last very long either. Like say, for example, the Vetiver Pomplamousse, which is my favorite from the entire collection of the Emotions collection. Um, I finished a bottle of that uh, last year and I absolutely loved it. Um, but maybe another reason why that it went so fast is because I kept on reapplying. But I, I honestly don't really mind because these are inexpensive and they smell 
beautiful. So <laughs> longevity, longevity and projection, if that's very, very important to you, then you might be disappointed with this. But if you want something that's just very zesty, fresh, clean, um, slightly musky, slightly floral, but mostly a beautiful bright green citrus of lime, then you might want to give this a try. So I like this. I don't, I'm not in love with it, but I do like it a lot. And I'm really glad that, um, yeah, I got a bottle of it. So hopefully I can try the other ones from the collection. They just came out with roller balls of it, which is fantastic and a great way to test it. So hopefully I can get my nose on those ones, but yeah. Those were basically my thoughts on Citrus Mies from the Zara Rain collection from Zara. <laughs> okay, guys, thank you guys so much for tuning in. If you guys want to share your thoughts on this fragrance, please do in the comments. I love reading your comments. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys soon in the next video. Take care. Bye-bye.